Hi friends, look, look how cute this is. This is called Cheeseburger by Peaches of a Goddess and it's scented in a house blend of iced coconut colada and cola. It smells yummy, otherwise, that's what it is. It smells yummy. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put it in. It's so freaking cute. And you can see color on the edge. Part of my nails not being done, by the way. I'm really a stickler for having my nails done. Um, but since I was recovering from surgery, I just haven't done my nails. All right, so anyway, but I'm feeling better, guys. Much better. Let's go ahead and put this to work. The immediate foam. That thickness around the edge, my favorite. Yummy, the scent is hitting me in my nose. Smells amazing. When I was looking around the edges, I was trying to see how close the embeds were to the edge because hers are usually right to the edge. And as you can see, color coming up underneath the burger. So cute. You guys probably didn't even notice my nails were done. And you guys probably don't notice that my nails are done. So I don't even know why I told you guys about that. But I'm very self-conscious about having my nails looking on point whenever I do a video. Very anal of me? Yes, I know. Okay, it might be the shape of this thing, but there's usually... Um, the end bed color is usually a little more immediate with Peaches of a Goddess. That said, we do still have some color coming out. So she did get the embeds, I guess, out as close to the edge as possible. By the way, I don't know if you guys have tried her soaps. They are freaking amazing. All right, this is really going kind of slow in comparison. I think it's because I don't have the water as hot as I usually have it. But anyway, the color show has begun. Oh, this is gonna be hard time. Sometimes it's just the shape of the bath bomb that is like kind of harder to turn than others. When I got this one, I also got a little taco bath bomb. I cannot wait to show you guys. And some nudes, some noodles, some ramen noodles. I got a ramen noodle bath bomb. That I did do the unboxing on. I did the unboxing for this whole food um, um, unboxing of the bath bombs. It was a, I think it was the burger, taco, some noodles. And honestly, can't remember what else was in my package, but... And um, you notice the size of this. This is one of my favorite sizes of bath bombs. I think I've mentioned it before. I don't like bath bombs that are super huge. Number one, you don't need all that. Really, you don't. And usually if I get really big bath bombs, unless I want to demo it, I'll usually just take a hammer to it and make it into bath dust um, so that I could use it more than once. Um, because I don't think you need all that much in your tub. I mean, if you want to, no, nobody's stopping you. I mean, it's not bothering me any if you use a big old bath bomb but for me um, I like smaller bath bombs and the pricing on this was good too it was probably only like six dollars so it was priced appropriately for the size of course as soon as I I was all excited to do this bath bomb demo as soon as I get here, then my shoulder, where I had surgery, starts hurting. So I'm not probably going to do the best demo right now because I'm holding the camera with that arm. It wasn't hurting a second ago. Damn it! Killjoy! 
If you are watching, you've made it this far, please hit the like button, comment or something. Um, because again, the lack of, I had a lot of people saying, where have you gone? Um, can you please do demos again? I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was quite a few people. Um, I only have maybe 600 subscribers, but there was probably a good 20 people asking me where I had gone. And then, so I said, okay, just, I don't care if it's just one of y'all. You guys want to see my video, then I'm going to do videos for you. Um, because I like doing them and they're fun or whatever. But then all of a sudden, nobody's liking my videos. And I'm like, What's, what am I doing this for? It's a lot of work. So please like, just so that I know that you came by, that you stopped by. Like, comment, something. I'm not looking to get famous off of YouTube. I'm not looking to have, you know, 100 million subscribers. I'm not even looking to be monetized. I'm just doing this for fun. This is just a hobby. Um, but it'd be nice to know that people are watching. Because... If not, then I could just go back to Instagram in my short little, um, instead of the full length reviews, I could just do short demos and be over with it. But I'm, I'm really trying to continue this for those of you that said you really wanted me to start this back up. Hit the notification bell too. I do several videos a week. Um, this past couple weeks, I haven't done several a week because I've been recovering, but I usually do several a week because I bathe every single night. And so I have a bath bomb demo that I could do every single night. So depending on how I'm feeling, I could do three or four of these a week and post them. And um, you can come and hang out and talk to me for a second. Or talk to the video. <laughs> I'll probably be in La La Land by the time anyone sees this video. I'm about to take my pain meds. Anyway, look how beautiful this is. Always beautiful, vibrant embeds. Always, always. And it does matter the warmth of your tub, whether or not, I mean, how quickly the bath bomb dissolves, by the way. I didn't do it too hot this I mean as a matter of fact it's actually feeling kind of lukewarm already that means I did not do it warm enough because I usually like it so hot that you can see the steam coming off and sometimes even my hands turn red I don't want it to burn me but I do like it kind of hot so that the show can run quicker and I just didn't do it today for some reason see the bath water's turning pretty blue really 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 want to crush this because why because because it feels so soft in my hand that's why that means I know it's gonna be a soft crush look how vibrant that orange is let's take a peek on the other side oh look at the color on my band here I guess I should have taken off my Fitbit. Sometimes I forget that I have it on. Luckily, it's waterproof. But yes, very pretty. Looks like um, there's plenty of orange action still going on underneath and some blue action. It's easier to spin now because I have those little grooves where the embeds were coming out of so my fingers are catching inside those little holes and so it's easy to kind of have like a little holder underneath that makes it easier for me to swirl this and it's not exactly swirling circularly but I think it's beautiful the way it is swirling all right I can't take it a second longer it's been nine minutes I'm gonna dunk it and then I'm going to um, go ahead and crush it. Oh, my fingers got really blue. Look at that foam, though. For real. Oh, now it's just red coming out. I should have been a little more patient. If you guys heard that but there's some thunder going on out here which is a bit ridiculous because it's been raining for four days straight like not even just 
regular rain like monsoon. Can't even sit out on my deck while I'm working from home. And working from home ends on Wednesday. I have to go back to work because I'll be supposedly fully recovered. So I no longer work from home, and I kind of miss it actually. I'm a work from I'm a work from the office type chick. I like the people. I like going into work. I like I like that. I actually do like being able to holler at somebody over you know across the room or over the cubicle end or whatever. I enjoy that. It's kind of hard to communicate with people when you're working from home. To me. I know a lot of people are probably like, are you crazy? Yeah, I'm kind of bored here. All right, so let's go ahead and crush it. Oh, gosh, I told you it was going to be a soft crush. That took zero effort. Zero effort. Look at that. Just trying to find all the little crunchities. Look at that. How pretty is that? Peaches of a Goddess is currently like my favorite bath bomb company. I mean, I have a bunch of tops, but this is my top, top, top. Probably because of how soft the bath bombs are, because of the immediate color show, because of the vibrancy of the color show. I mean, there's so many reasons. various other ones you'll be able to tell I'm not gonna make this about other companies but you'll be able to tell me see my other videos which one of my other favorites are I'd like to mention them now so they don't feel left out but this is about peaches of a goddess so that's what we're talking about all right so I'm gonna swipe through um I don't know it actually turned, turned to like a silver color but I don't know if, oh yes you can look at that shimmer this is lovely not too many people can do a mixture of colors without turning the bath water muddy. Um, even when I was had my art company, and I, the little children would try to paint, and they'd mix all the colors up, and they'd get mad when they get this ugly brown color. It's very difficult not to have this many colors and not turn this into an ugly brown mess. Um, and I've seen it with a lot of bath bomb companies where they do all the colors, and then the bath bomb is brown. Um, it's just hard. So um, I appreciate when a company can do it nicely. Um, that brown bath water and yellow bath water, for some reason, those are not my favorites. Yellow just looks a little like, you know what? And the brown it just looks muddy to me. Um, but I understand how difficult it is. Um, I'm not judging nobody. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys on the next one. This feels so good. Okay freaking bath bomb underneath my nails. Oh God, I look horrible. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys on the next one.